treatment assisted therapy is an alternative treatment to help with physical and uh, mental health issues and you can do all that by building respectful and trusting relationships with the horse human bond. Now I'm here at Being in One Horses with the founder and owner Maura Bird. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, what exactly is uh, equine therapy? Equine therapy is working with horses where they're your therapist, they are actually helping you to develop life skills, um, they're very honest creatures so they're going to mirror you and they're also very very sensitive and intuitive so if you're not feeling great they are going to pick up on that and if you're a threat they might move away from you but um, they they are huge, they're majestic, um, but are hugely impactful in coming and understanding humans and what's going on with humans mm -hmm. inside. And we have some of them going on here in the background. What kind of uh, therapy and things do you offer here? Okay, so equine assisted learning, again, focuses on life skills. So this exercise we've got going on here with the gypsy is actually something called uh, what's, uh, who's the brain? So the person in the center is actually the brain. The two people on either side can only use their outside arms. The person in the middle is the one articulating and working as a team with the two arms to groom the horse. So those three bodies have to work as a team. The other exercise there is called silent communication. And that is without the verbal sound of us giving an instruction, mm -hmm. that uh, that exercise is somebody being told what to do with the horse without hearing the verbal sound. Right. So and it comes down to communication skills, uh, teamwork skills, boundaries, all these different things come into the different exercises. And these therapies that are provided here, are safe for everyone of all ages? Yes, yes, absolutely. We have, you know, young children, teens, youth and adults up to mature adults. And so absolutely benefits everybody. Get out the city, come and spend time in nature and just spend time with the horses. It's just amazing. Yeah, and what are some of the benefits of being out here in nature? Well, obviously, it's a calming presence. There's no pollution, there's no loud noises, you're away from technology. You actually um, are in an environment that nature provides to us naturally. Right. You know, you've got the wind. I mean, yeah, it's like it's very windy today, but it's still quite beautiful when you go inside, you know. And so it's a good thing to even hear the sounds and appreciate what we've got in nature. Mm -hmm. The animals that you have here, there, are they specially trained to help the people here? They're not specially trained per se, but they do have to be vetted. Yes. I mean, all animals, I believe, all horses are amazing for this, but we have to do it from a safety perspective. It's really important. Right. Um, so a lot of these horses are really well broke and they have a good understanding of how humans do operate. This is uh, so how many animals do you have? It's not just horses that you have here as well. There are some yes, no, no, no. We, we have donkeys and we have miniature horses as well, and we've got dogs and cats. Um, we ourselves love equines, and so that is why we have. And donkeys and horses are slightly different in personality. Donkeys um, are a little bit more stubborn, uh, <laughs> but they are more fighters, whereas horses actually will. Uh, get away from danger mm -hmm. so that's kind of the difference there but we find even the donkeys are very therapeutic when people are, are just having like an anxiety or a meltdown and just to go and sit with the donkeys because the donkeys will just sit there with you and just hang around with you so very calming oh. very de-stressing for sure very interesting stuff here as well again thank you again to to Maura Curran here, the owner and founder of Being Among Horses. The ranch is located about 30 minutes just east of Regina here in St. Joseph's, just off of uh, Highway 1. You can see it from there. And there's more information. You can head to beingaroundhorses.com. Again, you're watching Global News Morning. Stay with us.